Welcome to Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. So, uh, the first video I selected to have the little bundle box be the first thing we opened up. So, this is going to be uh, the intro for video number two. I'm going to use a bit of the same first one there. Uh, but, so what we did was, you know, we're going to take this one, open it up first. So, video number two, we're going to drop back and from the items left here we're going to go ahead and pop open the collector boxes um, for the next video and the video following that we're going to unbox these see what we got in them um, the set just dropped um, not even just a few days ago uh, this is uh beginning of the second week of February so uh, the set just dropped I've been seeing a lot of different fluctuation in prices a lot of different stuff um, I'm gonna take a look at what the more sought after and higher price cards are gonna be so I know what I'm pulling out of these puppies but so this video and the video following uh, we're gonna go ahead and rip these little puppies open very excited very hyped uh, one of the cards that I know I'm looking for from this set uh, throughout all all these is going to be Magda. Uh, I am very excited to get a hold of Magda and do a dwarf tribal. Uh, for a very long time, I've been wanting to put together a dwarf deck, but the dwarves in Magic have just been very lackluster, very lame, uh, not very synergistic, not real good uh, with a lot of different things. So I think Magda is going to be a pivotal part at getting the dwarves in Magic to kind of come up and have some uh, playability. So I'm looking at building her uh, I have picked up a large number of vehicles to go along with the dwarves and some equipment to go along the dwarves uh, basically turning them into just tap engines to pilot the vehicles and then you know using Magda having her out popping a bunch of dwarves make some treasures and then bring some nasty dragons out to play so that is what I'm gonna be looking for so that's one card that I will be saying uh, will be looking for pretty heavily um, if I don't get the opportunity to pull one out of these boxes, I will probably go ahead and pick her up as a single and then go ahead and build that deck. Uh, if you're interested in my deck builds, uh, please throw a comment in the section below. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Uh, you know, I'm Chaos with Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. Uh, go ahead and if you would uh throw me a comment if you're interested in any decks that i might have my favorite decks my worst decks anything like that you're interested in throw me some comments below i'll answer any questions i can give you guys any kind of tips or ideas or thoughts that i've had uh some of the builds and you know i i may even go into uh, sections in between the blocks as they drop this year and see about just dropping some of the uh, deck builds that I have. I've got about I think 11 maybe 12 decks um, uh, ranging from five color dragons and five color slivers to uh, mono red crinko uh, a lot of different stuff so if you would just throw me some comments below any questions any con anything you would like for me to break down and you know, kind of just give you any details on. Love to hear from you all. Please give me comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, other than that, we're going to go ahead and do the next couple of videos here, breaking these puppies open. So with nothing left here, uh, I will go ahead and get that going. So I appreciate you all joining me here at Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. I'll see you here in a few seconds when we rip these little monsters open. All right. Thank you very much. All right, as we mentioned before, we're going to go ahead and pop open one of the collector's boxes, uh, see what we get. Hopefully we get something along the lines of a Vorniclex, uh, Taralf, um, and so many of them, um, uh, Helvar, or any number of the uh, really dope, really awesome cards that are coming out in this set. So we're going to pop this bad boy open and see what we got. And I love the way that they do these collector's boxes. I really do. The the hollow foils and the look of it. You know, you got the arm holding the big nasty hammer up there. Really do love the boxes and the way that they design these. So, having a lot of fun just looking at how they're packaging them. Real lot of fun. So, let's get to it. Fingers crossed for some fun. 
And we'll just see if we get something big and nasty out of this pack. Yeah, you smash. All right. All right, let's get to it. Smacking packs. I'm going to smack your pack. Alright, so we got our commons here. Ah, funeral longboat. Okay. Then we got our uncommons. A Merstrom. Let's see if we can... Mm -mm -mm. Root of Mortality. Oh, Snow Covered Swamp. So we got Uncommons there. We got a Foil Snow Covered Swamp. Very nice. Actually, we'll take that and throw it down here in a swamp in the uh, lands pile. Oh, King Narfi's Betrayal. All right, so first round, uh, one blue black. Each player mills four cards, then you may exile a creature or planeswalker card from each graveyard. Nasty. Uh, until he, uh, for level two and three, until the end of turn, you may cast spells from among cards exiled with King Nefari's Betrayal, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast those spells. So nice. That's pretty nice. A little rare there. Oh! Drow, Draugr Necromancer. Ooh! Zombie Cleric. Yeah, that's a full art there. Uh, rare. Yep, yep. Uh, if a non-token creature an opponent controls would die, exile that card with a ice counter on it instead. Uh-oh. Uh, you may cast spells from among cards in exile your opponent's own... In exile your opponent's own with... Own with ice counters on them, and you may spend mana from snow sources as though it were mana of any color... To cast those. Oh, that's that's pretty nice. I actually I I kinda like that. That's that would make a nice commander deck. That yeah. So we got uh yeah. So we got our rares up here, another rare. Ooh, icebreaker kraken. Who ten blue blue baby baby for an eight eight this spell costs one less to cast for each snow land you control. Ooh. Ooh, my. Uh, when Icebreaker Kraken enters the battlefield, artifacts and creatures target opponent controls don't untap during their player's next untap step. Return three snow lands you control to their owner's hand. Return Icebreaker Kraken to its owner's hand. Hmm. That is sickly. All right, we got Narfi Betrayer King, uh, Zombie Wizard, three blue-black. Other snow and zombie creatures you control get 1-1 one, one for three snow lands tapped. Uh, return Narfi uh, Betrayer King from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Huh, nice, very interesting. That would be very interesting to see. Oh, we got the Blight Step Pathway. And the Seer Step Pathway. So, you got a full art flip land there. Ah, Cole the Forge Master. But this one is the, again, I believe it's Metals? Metal? Metal Frame? Um, uh, what was it? Red, one red, one white. Whenever another non token creature you control dies. If it is if it was enchanted or equipped, return it to its owner's hand. Creature tokens you control that are enchanted or equipped get one one. Very nice guy. Uh, it is a uncommon, but we have the foil metal frame. Um, hopefully, it's going to be worth a little something there. I think I looked; it wasn't worth too much, but a couple of bucks worth. Um, but very nice. There's some different little combos you can play out with him that would end up making him, uh, I think, like, turn to infinite combo kind of deals. So, 
that could be very nice to, to have come through. So, uh, Crippling Fear. Two black, black, rare. Uh, choose a creature type. Creatures that aren't of the chosen type get negative three, negative three until end of turn. Not bad. Not bad. And then we got a Troll Warrior token and a Elf Warrior token. So, cool. Let's see what we can see. Ah, oh, treasure token. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I might use that one. It's got a little, little goblet. I like that. That is kind of dope. Yeah, yeah. I might hang on to that one. What's it got on the back there? Oh. Uh, Demon Berserker on the back. I might hang on to that one. We kind of, kind of spoiled what we got at the end there, but we'll we'll go ahead through it. So we got our commons there. Uh, Vega the Watcher. Whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, draw a card. Uncommon there. Oh, Great Hall, Great Hall of Starnheim. Nice. Got a foil snow covered plains. Got something crazy here. What is this? I guess that's a rare. I'm not sure how that how that symbols work now. So I'm assuming that's a rare. I'm not sure what is going on with this one here, but that is pretty dope. Uh, Wolverine Riders, Elf Warrior. At the beginning of your upkeep. Create a 1-1 one, one Elf Warrior Creature Token. Green Elf Creature Token Warrior. Okay. Uh, whenever another elf enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to its toughness. Well. Well, 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 well. They're boosting up the elves this round also. So let's see. Actually, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and just slide these on in here. Righteous Valkyrie here. And actually, what we'll do, we'll take all these. All right. We'll, we'll just start a train down here. So that way, we'll put Mythics at the top. So that way, they're easily noticeable. Uh, Righteous Valkyrie. Two white angel cleric. Nice. Uh, flying whenever another angel or cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Not bad. Not bad. That's pretty nice. Especially for two and a white for a 2-4 that gives it to you. As long as you have at least seven life or more than your starting life, creatures you control get 2-2. Two, two. That's not bad. See, that's kind of the buff that white's kind of been needing. Some little extra, I mean, just a little bit of cheaper, you know bad oh we got a mythic tyvar kel two green green planeswalker legendary planeswalker elves you control have tap at a black oh oh my yes that is very nice Woo i know some decks that would really love to have that in there uh, and he's a foil as well. Uh, for one, put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to one target elf. Untap it. Gains death touch till end of turn. Uh, create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token for zero. Or for minus six, uh, you get an emblem with whenever you cast an elf spell, it gains haste till end of turn and you draw two cards. That is very nice. That is very nice. That can help out quite a bit. Uh, let's see. We got Finn the Fang Breaker, Fang Bearer, Human Warrior, Death Touch. Not bad. Ah, uh, there we go. Sea Greed God Favored. I was reading up on that one. Very interesting. And that's the metal metal frame. And then we got. Uh, Agar, the Freezing Flame. Uh, we ended up getting a... Uh, we did an unboxing on a bundle box and ended up getting this guy in there. So, it's nice to see we got the foil uh, foil metal frame. That's kind of dope. I like that. 
All right. Oh, Tegrid. Tur Turgrid. God of Fright. Uh, three black black. Menace. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token non permanent or discards a permanent card, you may put that card from a graveyard under the battlefield under your control. Ooh, man. Okay. That's thievery of the best kind. And on the back was Tegrid's Lantern. Tap, player loses three life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. And then for four, untap this guy. So that is, whoo, that's nasty. I can very much see some nicely built decks around Tegrid there. I think that was one that everybody was saying was going to be a, a really insane commander to uh, build around. So... Kind of hype we got that. Yeah, Dwarven Berserker. <laughs> so let's see. We'll get past the, the low-end commons there. Hailstorm Valkyrie. Fierja, Judge of Valor. Flying lifelink, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them in your hand, rest in your graveyard. Interesting. Got a snow-covered mountain. Got Valkyrie Har Harbinger. Uh, this is four white-white. Flying lifelink at the beginning of each end step. If you gained four or more life this turn, create a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, oh, there we go. Cyclone Summoner. Ooh, five blue-blue giant wizard. Seven, seven. Seven power, seven toughness. When Cyclone Summoner... Uh, enters the battlefield. If you cast it from your hand, return all permanents to their owner's hand except for giants, wizards, and lands. That's a nasty one-sided board wipe if you're doing a uh, giant wizard tribal. That's very nice. Huh. Cosmos Elixir. The beginning of your end step. Uh, draw a card if your life toll is greater than your starting life toll. Otherwise, you gain two life. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ah, we got Cole again. Ah, Kasima, God of the Voyage. Let's see, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may exile Cosima. If you do, it gains whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control. If Cosima is exiled, you may put a voyage counter on it. If you don't, return her to the battlefield with X11 counters on it and draw X cards where X is the number of voyage counters. Eh, very interesting. And then the flip side is the Omen, Omen Keel. Uh, which is one in a blue for a legendary artifact vehicle. Whenever a vehicle you control deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles that many cards from the top of their library. You may play lands from among those cards for as long as they remain exiled. Nice. I like that too. The art on that is really nice. Got the little dolphins, the longboat. Very nice. Give me your hand, dolphin. Man, I, I ain't got no hands. But apparently I got a tentacle? Is that something else going on in the background? Am I am I missing something with this story here? Hang on. Hang on. Y'all tell me. What do you... What, I mean, what's going on in this picture? I, I don't... All right, you know what? No more questions. No, don't ask, George. Don't ask, Chaos. Don't ask. Vega the Watcher, Spirit Bird, and Rally the Ranks, one in a white enchantment as 
Rally to ranks, enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control the chosen type get 1-1. One, one. Not bad, not bad. And then a shard. Sacrifices enchantment, scry one, then draw a card. Huh. Yeah, yeah, don't ask any questions, Chaos. You're, you're, I don't know. I don't think we're going to get any of the answers that we are looking for. Alright, so let's swing on by the commons there, uncommon, Bill's Liberator, Snow-Covered Swamp. Alright, oh. There we go. There we go. Uh, we got the Waking the Trolls uh, for four red-green. Destroy target land. Round one. Round two. Put land card from a graveyard on another battlefield under your control. And round three. Choose target opponent. If they control fewer lands than you, create a number of four four green troll warrior <sighs> creature tokens with trample equal to the difference. Not bad, not bad. We've seen that one coming through. Not in this box, but one of our previous boxes there. Uh, Tundra Fumarole. Fumarole? Fumarole. 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 All right, let's see. Uh, Snow Sorcery. Interesting. Uh, one red red. Tundra Famarole. Uh, Famarole deals 4 damage to target creature or planeswalker. Add 1 mana, uh, and 1 colorless mana for each snow mana spent to cast this spell. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Yeah, not bad, not bad. That's kind of useful and helpful. Elvish Warmaster, we've seen him. Um, was it in here, was it? No, that was in the other box. All right, so Elvish Warmaster, uh, whenever one or more el other elves enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature token. This ability triggers only once, and then five green green elves you control get 2-2 two, two and gain death touch until end of turn. Uh, and he is one and a green to cast, so not bad. He's all right. Maja... Brett Guard Protector. Okay, other creatures you control get 1 1. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1 1 white human warrior to creature token. Not shabby. Not shabby at all for 2 green white. Not spectacular, but not shabby. Oh, we got another mythic. What's our second mythic here? Quakebringer. 3 red red. Your opponents can't gain. Ow. Ow. Your opponents can't gain life. At the beginning of your upkeep, Quakebringer deals 2 damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only if Quakebringer, and it says opponents. That's one thing to keep in mind, opponents only. Your opponents can't gain life. Uh, this ability only triggers if Quakebringer is on the battlefield or if Quakebringer is in your graveyard and you control a giant. Or you can hit him for his foretell. Man. That is... That's nasty. That's nasty. But we got our second mythic. And that's a full art non-foil. Uh, we got Svela, the Ice Shaper. Which is the troll warrior that makes the icy mana lift. So that's really cool. I think that's going to be a nice... Uh, uncommon commander that people will want oh we got draugar again but this is a full art foil the first one we got was straight up uh just full art so there we go and then the shard with the treasure on the back so we will just slide him over here with his twin all right let's see Oh, Rhyme 
Redwood Falls. Snow land for blue and a green. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We got our commas out the way. Invasion of the Giants. Finn the Fang Bearer. And snow cover. Mountain. Our first rare battle of Bart Guard. Bret Guard. Bret Guard. Hey, get your spellings right, Chaos. Come on. Uh, create a one one white human warrior cre uh, human warrior creature token first round second round create a one one green elf warrior creature token third round choose any number of artifact tokens and or creature tokens you control with different names for each of them create a token that's a copy not bad not super spectacular but not bad Tybalt's trickery. Ooh, I think this is one of the uh, higher price ones. Uh, I think this might be ten or fifteen bucks, maybe. Maybe I'm thinking maybe a little less than ten. Um, if you're one in a red counter target spell, choose one, two, or three at random. Uh, it's controlling mills that many cards, then exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non land card with a different name than different name than that spell. Uh, they may cast that card without paying its mana cost. And then they put the exile cards on the bottom of their library in a random order. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Jorn, God of Winter. I think that one was one that was going for a couple of bucks there. Whenever he attacks, untap each snow permanent you control. Which, that's nice, because if you got a bunch of snow lanes out there... Boom, you get all your lands back. So, not bad, not bad. And on the back, uh, Cauldering the Rhyme Staff. Tap, you may, play tar you may play target snow permanent card from your graveyard this turn. If you do, it enters the battlefield tapped. Yeah, not shabby, not shabby at all. Uh, Carder, Carder. Oh, we got another mythic. Uh, Alrin's Epiphany. <laughs> Five blue blue. Create two one one blue bird creature tokens with flying. Take an extra turn after this one. Exile Alrun's Epiphany. Yeah, so you get two birds and an extra turn. Not bad. Not bad. Uh... Harold, King of Skemfar. Oh, another mythic. Oh, there we go. Tyvar Kell. I know this one's going for quite a few bucks. Uh, two green green. Elves you control have tap add. Oh, well, never mind. We got him. We went through him earlier. This is the full art foil alternate art version, though. Oh, I see Manolith with Human Warrior on the back. Nice, nice. Tyvar Kell for the second time in this box alone. All right. We are halfway through, peoples. Mm -mm. Well, let's see. Got our commons, uncommons, snow covered plains. Uh, we got the Wolverine Riders again. Let's scoot these. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and just make a solid pile here. A couple of solid piles. So we got another copy of Wolverine Riders. Oh, here we go. Burning Rune Demon. I know that one's going for quite a bit. Uh, flying, when he enters the battlefield, you may search your library for exactly two cards not named Burning Rune Demon that have different names. If you do reveal those cards, an opponent chooses one of them, put the chosen card into your hand, the other one into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. He is a four black black. Very nice. Very nice card art. Good old demon flying with a battle axe in hand. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. That's our fifth myth, uh, fifth mythic in this box. Uh, Glorious Protector. 
Uh, Inga Runeyes again. Jorn got a winner. Again. Morite of the Frost. And oh, we got another mythic. Hey, not doing too shabby. Oh, eh, yes, yes, Essica, God of the Tree. Oh, I really want to look because, oh, yes. Uh, so she is one green, green, vigilance, tap, add a mana of any color. Other legendary creatures you control have vigilance and tap, add a mana of any mana color. And then for her flip side, at the beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature or planeswalker card. Put it onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Prismatic Bridge. Basically the uh, Bifrost. That's, uh, that's what you got coming at. The Bifrost. Yes. Oh, we're up to six mythics, baby! We're only halfway through. Let's go. Okay. We got da, da, da. We got commons there. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of uncommons there. Snow Mountain. Oh, hey. Another mythic. Man, we're just killing it on mythics. Raynar, the Ever Watchful, which is, I believe, also the commander of the, um, uh, the commander deck that is for Kaldheim as well, the Spirits uh, commander deck. So we now have an extra copy, which I think might be an alternate art. I could be wrong. Or just the same, just regular. But that is a mythic as well. So, hey. Oh. Up to seven mythics. Graven lore. Mm, snow instant, scry X, where X is the amount of uh, snow mana spent to cast his spell, then draw three cards. Huh. Nice, nice. Crippling fear, once again. Savella Ice Shaper, again. Oh! Good grief. Alright, we, we gotta make some more room over here. We got another copy of Essica. This is non-foil. Just straight up, but still nice. We got the Fang Bearer, uh, Rain Dance, Raiden, 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 Raiden? Is that how you're gonna, is that how we're gonna say that? Raiden. Someone correct me in the uh, comments here. Great. We're just gonna go with Raiden. Legendary creature god, god of the worthy. Uh, Snowlands, your opponent's control, enter the battlefield tapped. Non-creature spells your opponent's cast with converted mana cost of four or greater cost two more to cast. Ouch. Now what's the artifact on the back? Ooh, zombie berserker token. Uh, if a source an opponent controls would deal damage to you or a permanent you control, prevent one of that damage. Okay. Whenever you or another permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, counter that spell or ability unless this controller pays one. Nice. Nice, nice. Alright, we are up to eight. Eight mythics in this one box. That's what I'm talking about. Still not any of the big ones that we're looking for, but hey, we'll, we'll take it as is for now. I'm not gonna. No, I'm gonna be greedy. Uh, I'll be greedy. So don't, don't, don't get it twisted, people. I'm gonna be greedy. Uh, Certlin Flinger, Giant Berserker. Uh, Rise of the Dread Marn. Dragonkin Berserker. Oh, that's a nice one. First Strike. Boast abilities you activate cost one less to activate for each dragon you control. Oh, uh, his boast is four red, four and a red. Create a five-five red dragon creature token with flying. Activate this ability only if this creature attack this turn and only once each turn. Yeah, but not shabby, not shabby. Morte. Oh, 
Haunting Voyage, another mythic. Man, full art. Four black black. Choose a creature type. Uh, return up to two creature cards of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield. If this spell was foretold, return all creature cards of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield instead. Ooh, baby. That is... That's nasty. That's... That is really nasty. Narfi. Narfi, old boy. And blood on the snow. Blood on the snow. Blood on the snow. Destroy all planeswalkers. Destroy all creatures. Return a creature or planeswalker would convert a mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield where X is the amount of snow mana spent to cast this spell. Not bad. Not bad. Ah, Coma's Coil. I know somebody's going to be looking for that, so we're going to throw that to the side. All right, we got four packs left, people. Four packs left. Okay, let's see. We're going to get past that. Get past that. Snow-covered forest. Yay. Ethereal Valkyrie. Spirit Angel. Blue-white. Four blue-white. Not bad. Doomscar. Destroy all creatures. All right. And... Henge Gate Pathway. Oh, here we go. So, throw us on in play for a white or Miss Gate Pathway. Throw it in, in play for a blue. Then, Agar. Toski. Toski. And then, Inga Rune Eyes. Cosmos Charger. Horse Spirit. Flash flying, foretelling cards from your hand costs one less and can be done on any player's turn. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. And Tybalt Cosmic Imposter. So his emblem. All right, three packs left. Come on, more Mythics. Come on, more Mythics. Demonic gift. All right, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. So I'll get our commons out of the way here. And uncommons. Snow is land. Uh, Certlin Elementalist, giant wizard. So if you're building that uh giant deck, that giant wizard. Tribal deck, there's one. Oh, the world tree. Most definitely one. Enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, add a green. You can tap and add a green as long as you control six or more lands. Lands you control have tap. Add one mana of any color. That's going to be a very nice one. Uh, and then for double Wooberg, sacrifice the world tree, search a library for any number of god cards, put them under the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Man, that's, uh, whew, that's nasty. Uh, Sarulf, uh, Realm Eater, which is basically going to be Fenrir. That's, uh, that's Fenrir in magic. Oh, man. We're dropping cards in the wrong direction here. Get it, get into your pile, buddy. Vega the Watcher. Bajiri, God of Storytelling. Oh, oh, I'm throwing stuff. I'm throwing stuff. Uh, discard a card, exile the top two cards of your library. You may play those lands. But I think this was one that everybody was looking at for a commander. Oh, is that. Oh, Ezekiel Cherry. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I thought we got another one. I was like, man. Uh, Judge of Valor. That's Ezekiel's Chariot. Enters the battlefield. Create two, two, two green cat creature tokens. Whenever it, Ezekiel's Chariot attacks, create a token that's a copy of target token you control. Ooh. And you keep the token. It's not till end of turn. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And then there. Oh, oh, we're down to two packs. 
Down to two. Ugh. All right. Commons here, snow covered plains. Uh, Ferja's Retribution, enchantment there. Cosmos Charger, nice. Ascendant Spirit, there's a whole lot going on. It's a 1 1 for 1 blue, but you can do 2 snow lands, 2 snow mana. Uh, this becomes a spirit warrior with base power and toughness to three for three becomes a spirit. If it's a warrior you put a flying counter on it and it becomes a spirit warrior angel with base power and toughness of four, four. Oh, so it shifts up basically it levels up, but it stays that way. It's not till end of turn. Interesting. Uh, if it's an angel, which is the second form, warrior angel, uh, put two 1-1 one -one counters on it, it gains whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We got Harold again. Looking for Kumar. Oh, Nasty. That is what I am talking about. Got the Vorniclex. Oh, I got to get you in on this one. Come on, people. Get in on this one. Oh, got the Vorniclex with the Phyrexian text. That is sick. I can't even... Uh, what do we got? What do we got behind it before I... Oh, okay, we got that. And... Immistrum Predator. Okay. Vorniclex. Yes. Replicated ring. Okay. Let me take two seconds. Give me two seconds. I believe I just had this one up. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, people. That's what I'm talking about. I, t I told y'all. I told y'all. Vorniclex was going to show up, he was going to high five, and then probably eat my arm. But let's take a fast look, because I believe... Hang on, two seconds... Nope, 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 nope. Ow, oh, I lost it. Hang on. Oh, come on. My phone is acting up for a moment, so give me two seconds here. Nope, not that, not Rosh. Vorinclex. Nope, not that one. Monstrous Raider, correct? Am I right on that one? There we go. <laughs> yes, Vorinclex. 
So this bad boy, currently I am looking on Card Kingdom, because if you have not noticed, I have the Card Kingdom mat here. That is where I do a lot of my looking up and everything else on there. So let us see. Woo, baby. So right now, that card is going for $70 on Card Kingdom. Very, very nice. Very hype. Very cool. Very glad that that one came through. You get your own special spot over here, Runeclex. All right. Last one coming up. That's not bad, though. So far, we have gotten eight, nine Mythics. Nine Mythics out of one collector's box. I am thoroughly pleased with that. Uh, I can... I am totally down with that. Yes. Especially that. That's... That's a big show up. That's major. Old Vorinclex. Because I had to take a minute because I could not remember how to spell that. So, sue me. Alright. Ruthless, Winona. Not bad. Go ahead and just consolidate those down. In search of greatness. Huh. Green, green enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may cast a permanent spell from your hand with a converted mana cost equal to one, plus the highest converted mana cost among other permanents you control without paying its mana cost. You do, If you don't, scry one. Very nice. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, Arnie, broken, uh, broken brow. Who has... Okay, now this... This trips me out. So this cat has got... A, like, troll bone jammed in the side of his forehead. Like... Bruh, what, what, were, you, what were you drinking? Like, come on, bruh. That's, that's a little too far. But, to each their own. To each their own. I mean, you can do as you are good with doing. But I heard he is a pretty nice one to try and also build a commander deck off of as well. Persia. Egon, God of Death. Nice. Maja. And Dragonkin Berserker again. All right. Well, there you have it, everybody. So we have come across, oh, well, eh, 10. My math was bad. Never mind, I forgot I got two of the uh, Eska. So we got 10 Mythics out of one uh, collector's box. Very nice haul, very cool. Had a lot of fun with that one. We got another collector's box that we're going to be doing. So please come back and join us again. We'll be popping that one up here uh, shortly after this video goes up. So... Hopefully within a couple of days of that. So please come back. Join us again. We're going to check it out. Um, if you're also interested, uh, please say something in the comments. But a lot of these cards, what I end up doing is I will put them up for sale on eBay. Um, just to basically kind of recruit some of my funds and everything for picking up these boxes. Um, so if nothing, if you are interested in purchasing any of these cards that you see here today, uh, please do, uh, you know, send me a comment. I will hit you up with a link to where these cards are at on eBay, or I will just basically give you my, uh, sign in name on eBay. That way you all, if you're interested, uh, you can hit us, hit me up and, you know, just kind of check it out. Or if you're looking, I do pretty good pricing. I will work with everybody as well. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you would like subscribe, hit that bell notification, come back, join us again. Uh, again, if you have any friends, uh, have them come up and like and subscribe and follow and everything else. We're going to start trying to do some, uh, raffles for some free prizes and free uh, items each month now um, so if you would just hit me up let me know other than that i hope you all have a very nice week a good weekend and everything else there uh whatever you got coming up so i appreciate it thank you again y'all have a good one i am chaos with chaotic beagle entertainment 
Y'all take it easy.